Which qualities of Chris Harney does the Young Communist League embody? What are the Young Communists' take on the current state of affairs in South Africa? How is the relationship between the Communist Party and the ANC? And what is the role of the Young Communists in this era? What time is it? It's question time. Hotzong and welcome to the show. My name is Paul Tsedu. Last week's commemoration of the late SACP General Secretary Chris Tembisilehani laid bare apparent tensions between the Communist Party and the ANC. This after SACP's second Deputy General Secretary Solima Paila was heckled during the wreath laying ceremony. A video of an alleged assassination attempt on Mapaila at the event has aggravated matters. The SACP leadership says it has discussed the issue with the ruling party. Mapaila and some within Kosatu have been calling on President Zuma to step down following his recent cabinet reshuffle. Meanwhile, the YCL says it is undertaking a frank assessment of the most pressing issues Chris Honey fought for. As part of commemorating Chris Honey Month, the young communists will use what they call Bua Thursdays to educate people about the fallen struggle heroes. But is the SACP the best party to lead currently the ANC's economic transformation, the radical one, that is? We are live and therefore you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial 089-110-4210. Our Twitter handle at question time 24. My guest today, Mlaudi Wasakake, is the national spokesperson for the Young Communist League of South Africa. The numbers to dial 089-110-4210. Our Twitter handle at question time 24. Mlaudi. Welcome right. to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, the YCL um, versus uh, Chris Honey Month, um, instead of talking about the legacy that Chris Honey left, uh, it would appear people are putting more uh, effort into talking about the state of affairs within their alliance. What's your position? No, our position is very clear. Uh, uh, Mpo. Our position is that, uh, you know, we need to take to the logical conclusion what Krizani stood for and what Krizani believed in. And uh, what he believed in is that, uh, you know, the poor and the workers must, in the eventual, taste freedom and live uh, uh, in accordance with their aspirations. So that is what we are doing. That is our position. Our position is very clear. As the YCL, we are going to mobilize young people to make sure that we take the ideals that Chris believed in to their logical conclusions well, against but, all odds. But what I'm saying is I'm not seeing that happening now. Instead, I'm seeing every platform that, whether the AMC or the communists, and let's talk about the communists and let's just focus mm. on you, you guys. Yeah. Whatever platform you get, we reaffirm our position that President Zuma must go. Yeah. No, it, it, no, it depends where we start uh, to understand the party message. In actual fact, the Communist Party, uh, even before its call for the president to step down, for President Zuma to step down, the Communist Party is one of the political formations that developed the sustainable critique against the social and economic system. So. That call comes as the logical end of what the party has been doing through its, uh, you know, general uh, African communist and many other uh, 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 programs that it has undertaken. But also the problem we are having as the YCL is that uh, that is why we have taken a conscious decision to mobilize young people. What we are saying is that young people who are poor must not be part and parcel of the battles of the political elite. We must never pander to any new colonial politics because by so doing, we will fail to identify our generational mission. And that is why day in, day out, in the morning, we are fed about who is fighting who. 
a midday we are told who is fighting who. In the, uh, during supper, we always get news <coughs> as to who is fighting who. And in the whole process, genuine issues that affect workers and the poor are not dealt with. And that is what we have identified as the YCL to say, we need to do something about the situation. In actual fact, it is not a question of doing something. It is the question of us intensifying our programs, the programs that we have been having, just like you said on the inset, uh, the poor Thursdays, and many other mass-based programs that we are going to undertake. Let's take Jesse. Jesse, you are in Durban. Welcome. Welcome, sir. And how are you? I'm very well. Thanks for the call. Yes, I'm delighted to respond to your question as well. Okay. Go ahead, Jesse. Yes. In fact, I, 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 I am for the ANC. As a member of the ANC, I'm also supportive of the li alliance. But I'm fully aware that the both parties should not be against one another. We should work together as the ANC has a, uh, a program to transform the country, which I am one of the persons that actually working on a major concept to, to build the South Africa. And I would love all the SACP and the ANC to work together to make a change. Thank you very much, Jesse. Unfortunately, what Jesse wishes for, it's not something that we're going to see anytime soon. Currently, there are cracks within the alliance. Your mother yes. body, the Communist Party, is leading the charge. No, I'm not sure about what you mean by leading the charge. Well, uh, Bladen Zimande is at the forefront. Solima well, Paila is also at the forefront. Well, they have always been on the forefront of, of undermining decisions of the ANC. How? Well, okay, let us explain. You know, the... the, the, the without speaking on behalf of the communist party yes uh, uh, the leadership of the party despite some limitations here and there has always been in the forefront of champi championing uh, issues of the poor and workers how do they criticize the anc when they are serving in the same government which they want it president zuma to uh, to leave it criticism of the nc has always been the political lifeblood of, uh, of the mass democratic movement. It public has been criticism? Happening. It has always been happening. Public criticism? No, it is not, it, no, it is not a question of public criticisms. Public criticism to say. It is a question of ANC, the SACP and COSATU being in alliance, in an alliance. Yes. And it is an alliance of independent partners. So the Communist Party is not the desk of the ANC, neither is the ANC the desk of the Communist Party. And therefore the, ANC, the P Communist Party has got its own independent political and ideological programs. And the Communist Party does not go around identifying enemies. The Communist Party has a program of action. If anyone feels, like, feels that a particular political program of the Communist Party is undermining his or her privileges, then it is not a question that uh, it, it, it cannot be defined or interpreted as the Communist Party is leading an attack. It has always been having problems. Okay, let's get some good news here from Eshowa. Good news? Welcome. Yes. How are you, Mpo? I'm well. Thanks for the call, Baba. Oh, thank you very much to pick up my phone. My phone. No. What I want to put here in the, the, my son, the beautiful son. Yes. Please, they must wake up as the young people. Yeah. They must play full with these people. I'm a member of ANC. Yes. I used to be called communists in eighty, where I've been working, where it was no labor blockers at the time. One day in, the, in your program, I asked direct Mr. Jamin, why is it still labor blockers? Yes. While where at the time where I was working, it was no labor blockers. Yes. Because our alliance themselves, leaders, they own labor blockers. Oh, these labor blockers, yes. These labor blockers. Is a, is a, is a, is a, that's why labor blockers are not going away. That's why people, they are happy for tenders. Tenders are not helping, helping any, anyone. Mm. It's only can help me alone. Yes. But a lot of people, they don't, they don't Get, get, get job because one man he, he took millions and eight million for government, not for he, he, he what he worked, he worked for himself. Good news. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Well, yeah. that's one of the problems uh, that, that are out there. And YCL, where are you when young people who are working in this um, call centers? 
mm. they have their salaries some cut not only by half um, but you earn 10,000 on paper but they are taking 3,000 home where is the young communist uh, 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 league there no we are we are there we are actually it's not it's just that you are not populist demagogues we don't every time we're having programs we don't go out to media and publicize them our branches our districts our provinces are hard at work we can we can confirm that but also what we want to say i think the caller is correct you know you know if if the the the, the unwillingness or the inability of the political leadership to transform the social and economic landscape raises more issues raises more questions and it actually means they actually have a stake in the economic setup and therefore by transforming the economy for the benefit for the benefit of everyone else they are going to be one way or the other shooting themselves in the foot because they have a stake okay hold it there let's go to polukwane butan welcome thank you very much Mpo. uh how we look to the show my man Thanks, now, thanks. I need you to ask the gentleman there. Yes. He must tell us currently as we speak, what is the role of the Young Communist League? And what program have they started and completed? Not in the process, because he's busy saying, yeah, we're in a process, the working class and overseas. We want him to tell us. This is Project A. We have started it on during this time. This is how far it is, or we have completed it. He must not just give us a blanket approach kind of a situation. He must pinpoint one. This is the role of the Young Communist League in the current South African dispensation. That is what we want to hear from them. And thank you very much, Mpo. Thank you very much, Butani there in Purukwan. Yes. Okay, now let me go to specifics. I think the caller is assisting us. Uh, look, one, the, the YCL, now we have concluded uh, uh, the right to learn campaign, Joslova right to learn campaign. Our, our members were all over the country assisting students in universities. These are ongoing programs. These are not events. But also, YCL has been part and parcel. In, in fact, it pioneered or initiated uh, uh, the sanitary uh, campaign uh, uh, program to say each and every girl child must have access to sanitary towels. Also, the YCL has a program called the Read to Lead Campaign, where we are partnering with libraries, assisting those who are good in math, those who are good in commerce, and those who are good in many other subjects, assisting uh, uh, young people at schools. So those are the specific programs that we have been undertaking. These are not events, are ongoing programs that we are doing. But also, like you said in the inset, we are using the Poor Thursday to ideologically and politically conscientize young people so that what the other caller spoke about of us playing a neo-colonial political elite uh, uh, does not find expression. So in those poor Thursdays, that is where we are dealing with topical issues. Issues of how do we intervene where young people working at McDonald's young people working at KFC, young people working at any other shop at the SABC. Even at the SABC, young mm. journalists who are frustrated in the, in the newsrooms mm. are actually assisted. So the, the problem is that given the, the, you know, the nature of the political discourse, the media itself is not assisting us in a sense that we sidestep the battles of the political elite and we identify genuine issues that will have to be taken forward. Let's go to Leidenberg. Pila, welcome. Thank you for taking my call. Sir. How are you? you are uh, welcome that I'm well. Thanks for the call, indeed. Yes, I just want to ask this question uh, from the young gentleman there. Pertaining mm -hmm. the utterances that have been made by Solima Paile publicly, so, yes. as well as uh, played in the Monday. Doesn't he think that they have opened a vacuum for opposition, uh, for other opposition people, ANC, as they are continuously doing so? Furthermore, another question that I want to ask from this man is that, what is it that are they go? I mean, what is it that is solely and played are they looking for? If President Zuma, let's say he steps down now, is there any benefit that they will benefit from this? Thank you, Mpo. Thanks very much, Pilar, in Leidenberg. Well, I <coughs> think uh, here I am not here to speak on behalf of the Communist Party or certain individuals. Yeah. So I may not be 
you know, in a position to answer certain questions, especially about what do they want and all those things. Okay. You know, if people want to be consistent, the Communist Party has always been raising critical issues about the poor and the workers. So people want to start where they want to start. So this selective political you, uh, analysis is not going to assist us. But also, what I want to explain, the, the, I want to provide a, a bit, a historical basis of why the Communist Party speak, is speaking about the corporate capture of the state. Wait, 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 wait. before you go there, well, <coughs> excuse me, you're saying you don't want to yeah. uh, speak on behalf of the party and all that. Maybe let me uh, try something else here. Do you support the calls made by Bladen Zimande and Solima Paila? Which calls? The calls for the ANC president to resign. No, it, is not the, it is not the call by, Soli, by Comrade Solima Paila and the Comrade Bladen Zimande. No. It, is the, it is the position of the party. Yes. And the position of the party, we support it unambiguously. So you support? Uh, of course. Okay. Why? Why? Yes. No, it is because that is why I said, let me explain. You know, <laughs> the, the theory of the revolution, in simple terms, was that revolutionary forces are going to take charge of the state. And having taken charge <laughs> of the state, they are going to transform the state to eventually transform society. So do you so, think? So, so basically, to eventually transform society. <laughs> and by so doing, they are going to be proper democratic institutions that are going to assist in the attainment of this historical imperative. Now what is happening is that the state remains untransformed and therefore society <laughs> remains untransformed. So is that regardless of some you know social and economic reforms that so we undertake. Is that is that um, President Zuma's fault? That is why initially I said the Communist Party has always been providing a political critique of the social and economic system. Yes. And therefore the Communist Party cannot speak in tongues at some point because the whole system is administered political and otherwise by individuals. And at some point when push comes to a, fort, to a, to a, to a push, to a force, we need to be able to say unambiguously, this is what we are saying. You can't say we are against the system. The system is not self-engineering. It is politically and ideologically administered by individuals. And those individuals, one way or the other, have to be identified. So what is your answer to my question? I've answered you. I'm, I'm saying no. the Young Communist League I, supports... I, I asked if the fault is, uh, lies with President Zuma. No, it, it lies with the entire movement. And of course, he's the head of the movement. And therefore, that he has to be... That movement includes leaders of the SACP. Yes. So should they also fall? No, it is, no, no. It is because the call comes as a result of internal discussions okay. in the party. So Zuma must movement. go, but Blade must stay. President Zuma is the president of the country. It is not a question. It is not a question about. Uh, it is not a question about a particular minister. Mm. It is the. It is the question. It is a political question that has to be addressed and answered to. President Zuma is the president of the country, and the back stops with him. Okay. The historical. The historical mandate of giving back land to people of uh, free education cannot be reduced. To, <coughs> it, it is not a ministerial affair. It is a political question that. A national liberation movement, but and you, in you particular, <coughs> uh, the political leadership has to address this. I'm sorry, my, my, my voice is failing me a bit here. But you, yeah, but you are talking, you're talking about collective uh, leadership, right? And that collective includes Blade, it includes uh, Jeremy, it includes um, Tulas, it includes Rob Davis. No, so, let's th so those th those are fine. They can they can stay. No, let's let's Zuma not. Must go. No, let's not even speak about collective leadership. Oh, given okay. the inconsistency, given the inconsistencies so we, that have occurred changing. over time. No, it is not a question of changing. Let me explain. You will mm. you will hear my point. Okay. You know, you know, a, a, at a time, for example, I will make a very specific exa example. When there are issues about land reform or land redistribution. Yes. You have never seen anyone marching to a department of land affairs. Because, simply because the question of land and the, like the question of free education, mm. it is part of the historic demands of the oppressed. And therefore the national liberation movement and the political leadership at that time has to take a responsibility. That is why President Jacob Zuma has the power and the capacity to reshuffle the cabinet. And therefore he also has the power to do that which the masses want. Okay, hold it there. Let's take Ngatile. Ngatile, you are in Volis. Uh, Mpa? Yes, Ndati. 
Yeah, Mpo, just I want to ask a question that I say. Yes. If the SECP can take a decision that when it comes to 2019, SECP is going to spend the self voting, are they still going to support the or what do you do? Okay. If the SECP can they say they're not going to be any more alliance with ANC, uh, I, I, why are you still going to support the ANC now? Okay. In actual fact, the caller is actually reminding me of the primary position that YCL took, I think since, since 2005, mm -hmm. that the Communist Party must contest elections. That is our position. So instead of us uh, uh, preoccupying ourselves about who is going to lead, who, who is going but to lead. But you don't uh, have members. Who, uh, how wh are where you do you going? take that from? Huh? Where do you take that from? Where do you take that from? It, like I said, we are not just populist demagogues. In fact, we are not like those people who call young people in halls and call the political... But if you had members, I'm sure you've been making this call for so many years. Don't yeah, you think you would have taken that decision to go independent? It, that is why we have been consistently saying so as the YCL. In actual fact, in the upcoming Congress of the party, we are going to be raising that call. So but it is now, not, let not, me tell you something. Mm. Um, if the YCL was so serious about um, going independent, I'm sure you would have done so even at institutions of higher learning where you exist as the YCL. You would have contested the elections, probably contesting SASCO or, uh, you know, I guess the, 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 uh, um, that, that, that structure that exists at universities would, yeah. have, would have fallen apart. Okay, of course. But look, we cannot do things haphazardly. We cannot be adventuristic. We need to understand time and space. In as much as, in as, much as we are putting forth this position, we have to be politically disciplined. We cannot just uh, run rampage and be adventuristic and, 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 and be populist demagogues and stand everywhere we are and say, because we are pushing this position, things, this is a revolution, it needs maturity. That okay. is why in the upcoming, we are going to stand as the YCL, we are not going to back down, to say the Communist Party must contest the upcoming elections. Lazarus Emalathlin, welcome. Lazarus. <laughs> That Lazarus Reloquele, eh, Rtai Fitish Ababa Hole. Sabrina, no, you shall not have a man. Caracabana, any more evil count. All right, we rumel pill or Jimmy Jamukuto, was a bad even narrow was a car that you buru, Gavara Bolela, you buru fell. Why, my name? One of the Torino of Jamshimanu, Pararo Coro Bolela Naikao, Ubala Limlin was Alcuomo. Okay, that the Lazarus well. Lazarus, yeah. they're saying, well, look, uh, this program must be conducted in an African language. We yeah. want to contribute, but we can't because <laughs> you're speaking English there. But, uh, yeah. well, I guess, yeah, uh, that's uh, just uh, the joys of uh, yeah. question timing. We yeah. are about to wrap. Um, but I, would, I want you to come out very clear. Do you have confidence in the collective leadership of the alliance um, and which is running government affairs? We have confidence in the look. I, 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 we have always had confidence in the alliance. Yeah, but but now, but now the situations are compelling us. Yeah, to radically uh, uh, take forward the program that is going to liberate workers and the poor. Okay. One way or the other, it's going. To, it's not going to be an easy task. We are going to be accused, of, but the arrogance of the political elite is never going to find expression because people are saying if the communist party is going to is going to contest, it will be like so and so. It will uh, dissipate into thin air. No. But metros went. They were lost in the context of that political arrogance, and therefore the communist party must go it. Uh, 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 through the popular mobilizing popular forces okay now the collective leadership includes communists so should this collective leadership go no Mpo, you are you are you are making a, a kind of a mistake okay we are speaking from it is an organizational point of view okay we must distinguish between individuals 
and the SACP Kosatu and the ANC and to a certain extent Sanko, who okay. are in the alliance as independent partners. So we need not pinpoint individuals. We are speaking about organizations so which I'm, have constitutional but my question meetings was, and programs. Should they all go? In what sense? Go away. I can, you are saying the president must go. No, the, in, in fact, you must be assisting us to say, how then are we going to intensify our program for the... No, for, no, no, for, that's not our that's, responsibility. No, it's not your responsibility, yes. but also it is not your responsibility to contradict our political positions We're by wanting to pinpoint individuals. We're asking questions. I'm, I'm responding to you to say it is an alliance of independent partners. We as the League of the, of the Communist Party, we are pushing a particular position that the okay. party must contest elections. Okay. And that should be our primary political point of view. Romanis, thank you very much. Well, that was question time for today. A big thank you to you for watching the show. Uh, let us meet again tomorrow from me and the entire crew.